Are you seeing the excluded by no index tag in your Google search console? What is this no index tag and how can you remove it from the affected pages? We're going to learn that in this video. So in the search console, when you go to the pages tab under indexing, you'll see the excluded by no index tag. And in my case, there are 12 pages that are affected by it. Now, what is this no index tag? No index tag is basically a directive that these pages pass on to Google, asking it to not index it on Google search. So whenever someone would search for a particular keyword, if this page were to have it, Google would still not show it on the SERP page. Now, a lot of this happens by accident, while some is added intentionally. So today I'm going to show you how you can check all the affected pages and fix them accordingly. Click the excluded by no index tag and you will see all the affected pages on your website. Now there are pages that have the no index tag in them. Now these are URLs of articles, but you also see the search strings over here which are not ideal. I'm going to show you how you can fix that as well. So first, let's focus on the posts which have them missing. Okay, so I have a sample post over here, which is the evolution of football. So I'm going to go and into the page source. So what you can do is you can pick a URL which is affected here, go to the page source of it and search for no index. Now, as you can see, it says meta name robots and it has a no index and a no follow which means that the google crawler will know of this page but it won't allow google to index it so anyone searching for football or on this topic on google search won't be able to view this page now that is not something that we want right because the content that we publish we would want it to grab maximum eyeballs so i'm going to show you how you can fix this so the first step i would want you to do is go to your article. Now, if you are on WordPress, you can go to posts and find the article. Now, this is super easy if you are using a plugin. So, if you are using the Yoast SEO plugin or the Rank Math plugin, you will be able to do this pretty easily. I'm going to show you how you can fix it with the Yoast SEO plugin. So, in the article, I'd want you to scroll all the way down into the section that has Yoast SEO. As you scroll down, click advanced. Now here, the first option is allow search engines to show the content in search results. And as you can see, this is marked as no. So when this is marked as no, it adds a no index tag into the source code. So you're going to simply change it to yes and update the post. Now, once this is done, the page is going to no longer have the no follow tag in it and Google will index it as well. So I'm going to show you that. So this is what it currently looks like. There's no, no index. I'm going to refresh the page. And as you can see, it's already changed. This is indexed. So I'll show you the exact same URL in the Google search console as well. I'd run this test when it was no indexed. As you can see, it shows that it has a no index tag detected in robots meta tag. As a result, Google has not indexed it. Now, since we have fixed it, I can go ahead and click request indexing. And as you can see, this page can be indexed. You can go ahead, click request indexing and the indexing request is submitted. So this way, an article or a page which was earlier no index is now indexed. Now there are multiple reasons why you would want certain pages to be no index. Say for example, if you have an admin login page, you wouldn't want it to come across on Google. Or if there are other service pages that you want strictly to be for internal use only, you can click the no index on those pages and those won't get published. Like I've shown you the no index tag for posts. Similarly, it's also applicable for pages. If your entire website is no index and uh, absolutely nothing is showing up on Google, there's a quick fix for that as well. Now, if you are using WordPress, so I want you to go to settings, general, 
and then there's an option which says discourage search engines from indexing the site so if this thing is checked you're pretty much asking google not to index anything from this site so ensure that it is unchecked and you can go ahead and save the setting okay so now we have finished the first part where articles that we want to index can get indexed right now but in the search console we have also seen other queries such as this question mark search term this also pops up now if you want to clean the search console of all of these junk urls you can simply do it by using the yoast plugin in your wordpress admin for that i would want you to go to your wordpress panel search for yoast seo in yoast seo i want you to go to settings and under advanced click on crawl optimization so in crawl optimization it allows you to remove unwanted metadata from your website so if i were to check for urls that pop up into search console in our page source as you can see multiple ones are created right in the page source so you can remove them and once they are removed from the page source they won't be visible in the search console so i want you to check disable unwanted content formats in your yoast plugin so the comment feeds will get disabled the author feed gets disabled over there and all of these don't category tags if you don't want tags category and even your global search queries to come up here you can enable all of them so remove search result feeds that is something that we've seen in the search console you can remove that as well and you can hit save changes now with those changes saved errors like these which have the search string attached to it well they won't show up in the search console anymore i hope that helps you guys